All right, Mac 132, Blueprint Reading 2. We started today on Chapter 9, which is all about threads. I told you the three purposes of threads. Um, there, it's actually six. Uh, little, uh, so, but the three fra phrases are threads assemble and fasten things together. So sometimes things have to come apart and sometimes they don't. Uh, threads are used um, um, in both those uh, situations and they might even be different. Another reason for threads is that they translate, which means they move something, or they, they provide thrust to push something up against another thing. Uh, the, uh, on a machine table, the threads are used to translate table movement, so that's what that's about. And the last reason for threads is that they seal and join. Like pipe threads join together two pieces of pipe one and the other and keep them going in a nice straight line so they join the pipe together but then the threads also uh, properly cut and with certain uh, applications of chemicals or things like that they also will seal seal in liquids and gases and things like that I gave a demonstration about why threads are so important um, um, I used the the, uh, the Alaska Airline crash of 2000 to to uh, say why um, you know threads are, are are often have people's lives hanging um, in the balance, so they have to be cut um, properly, but they also have to be maintained properly. And um, they uh, there is only two ways that threads can fail. I told you that too. They can either strip, which means just like on that Alaska Airline crash, you can see that file um, by the way on the Blackboard page one thread just rips out of the other and it looks like a ribbon um, because it just stripped off of the bolt or the nut um, um, and, that, and, and that's why it looks like that. The other way they fail is they can gall which is one thread is now interfering with another and there's really nothing to be done. Once a thread galls up it's, it's pretty much destroyed. You might get your thing back apart again but if not all you can do is cut the nut off or saw off the bolt and then uh, and then start over again so that's that's how threads fail and that's their purpose and that's why we make them and uh, we went over the classifications of threads you, um, all you're gonna see while you're working with us here is standard unified UN unified national threads they have a 60 degree thread form there's usually a little flat at the top Acme thread has a 29 and a half degree included angle and they are much stronger threads. If you look on the lathe the lead screw when you pull up to cut threads, the, the lead screw on your lathe has Acme threads. This drawing shows how you will measure threads, unified threads over wires. You put um, three equally di equal diameter wires over the part, mic over the top of it, subtract a um, constant and, and then cut to the pitch diameter, which is that theoretical diameter going right through the middle of the thread. All right, um, those are the classifications that we went over, UNC, UNF, and UNEF. Here are two very handy formulas to be used on threads um, of diameters that are less than a quarter of an inch. The 1224, 1228, 1032, 832, 440, those kinds of threads. How, how do you know what the major diameter is supposed to be? Well, it's 13 thousandths times that number, like 832, it would be the 8 would go here, and then you add 60 thousandths to it. When you want to know the percent of full thread eng engagement between a nut and a bolt, you have to know the major diameter of the bolt and also the drill diameter hole size. Because that will tell you how much of the thread is left, right? Well, 75% is what we normally aim for. But this, this formula will give you the exact um, um, a percentage of full thread. That about covers it. Um, I told you to do, uh, uh, we went over on, uh, the exercise on page 211. Um, there was a, uh, some good ex uh, math to do in there for how many full threads a, a given hole is going to have um, based on the thickness of the part or the, or the depth of the hole. And, uh, and, the, and homework is page 2, um, all the exercises in between 213 and 219. We'll see you next week.